Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll share with you an array of plant-based milks, specifically nut and seed milks. I will show you all the nut and seed milks I have made so far and I'll share with you which nut milk is my favorite. As you might suspect you can use almost any nut and or seed to make plant-based milk. This includes almonds, Brazil nuts, cashews, coconut, which is actually a fruit, flax seeds, hazelnuts, hemp seeds, macadamia nuts, pecans, pine nuts, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, and walnuts. Before making the actual milk, soak the nuts and seeds in cold water for a few hours so they soften up and are easy to blend and digest. The two exceptions to soaking are flax seeds and hemp seeds. Flax seeds are what's called gelatinous seeds, so while you can soak flax seeds, they do gel when soaked, which reflects in the texture of the milk. As far as the hemp seeds go, again you can soak them, but there is no need to since they don't contain any phytic acid, which is why we are soaking the nuts and seeds in the first place. One more thing I want to mention is that shredded coconut is best soaked in hot water as opposed to cold water because the hot water will help extract more of the coconut flavor which will seep into the soaking water. And because coconut contains no phytic acid, you don't have to discard the soaking water. When the nuts and seeds are done soaking, drain the soaking liquid and rinse them under cold running water. Add the nuts and seeds into a high speed blender together with some fresh water and blend on high. The amount of water depends on the nut or seed you use. The most common ratio is one part of nuts to three parts of water. However, the ratio can be as high as one to two for coconut milk or as low as one to 16 for flaxseed milk. One thing to keep in mind is that there is no right or wrong ratio. It's all about what you prefer. The higher the ratio, the creamier the milk. Also, if you're interested in the flavor profiles of all plant-based milks, including oat milk, pea milk, rice milk, and soy milk, as well as their nutritional profile and the best way to use them, I'll link to the article I wrote in the description box below. Transfer the milk into a nut milk bag and strain the pulp. While most plant-based milks do need to be strained, there are a few exceptions including cashew milk, macadamia milk, pecan milk and pine nut milk. To make the milk homogenized, I use sunflower lecithin, which is a phospholipid based dietary supplement with many health benefits. In this recipe, the sunflower lecithin not only boosts the nutritional profile of the milk, but it also acts as a fat emulsifier. In other words, it brings the fat from the nuts and seeds and the water together, holding them in suspension, so there is no separation as the milk sits in the fridge. That being said, what will always occur is sedimentation where a layer of milk proteins forms at the bottom of whatever you store the milk in. It's natural and normal. This is why even store-bought plant-based milk separates a little and you're supposed to shake the milk before use. Transfer the milk into a glass jar and that's it. Homemade plant-based milks made from nuts and seeds. So we'll do this taste test a little bit differently. Instead of tasting every single plant-based milk that you saw in the video, both Tanner and I picked our favorite plant-based milk for drinking. And I'll start, okay? Mm -hmm. So my favorite plant-based milk for drinking is probably the hazelnut milk, just because it's so decadent. Now I'm drinking this plain here, but honestly, if you add a sweetener, cacao powder, and a splash of vanilla, it tastes just like Nutella. So this one is probably my favorite. Which one is your favorite? Definitely the coconut milk. Although <laughs> I did struggle between the coconut milk and the almond milk. Homemade almond milk is delicious. Mm -hmm. Homemade coconut milk is better. I like those two the best. The coconut milk 
wins because it has a more pleasant color to me. It has very little coloration. It's not off-white, it's white. So it's very convincing as a dairy substitute. I think that that like psychologically wins me over. The taste is very mild, very, I would say zero aftertaste. And you said you could drink this plain. Yes, I no could. No sweetener. Easily. Like it, it doesn't bother me to drink coconut milk straight, especially when it's homemade and it doesn't have like that greasy, sometimes store-bought coconut milk can be like oily and greasy and leave a lot of residue on your palate. Homemade stuff seems to be void of that. There's no problem with it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. The hazelnut, though, it has too much of an aftertaste for my liking. It's... It is like drinking hazelnuts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's essentially... <laughs> that's exactly what it's like. And what Petra said about the sweetener, adding in a little bit of some different flavor, it would be delicious, but... It would be just like a dessert. Yes. It would be, and I would encourage you to try that because it's going to be delicious. But we're talking about just, just the milk themselves. Coconut milk wins in my opinion. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.